we continue walking through Lent using illustrations and reflections from the Benedictine Sisters of Turvey Abbey and short passages from the Bible. These illustrations are inspired by Jesus's journey to the cross and I hope that they are helping you this Lent. We continue to reflect on a new illustration every Tuesday and Thursday between Ash Wednesday and Easter Sunday. And today we have our sixth illustration, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus falls because we fall. He became like one of us so that we might be like him. Let's take a moment to pause and look at the picture. The crosses of the world which burden him take on a more dramatic dimension in this picture. They seem to batter him down, concentrating on his faltering figure to crush him totally and for good. The crosses above, the thorns below. It says in Isaiah, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Come to me, all of you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Words from Matthew chapter 11. What do we do when somebody stumbles and falls again and again and again? Do we look around for someone to blame? If we do, then we are stumbling too. Today we remember the homeless throughout the world. Those who sleep rough in the big cities. Those who sleep rough in our town of Weymouth and Portland. Many of whom have lost the will to rise up and carry on. Lord, be with all of us who stumble and fall as you did on the road to Calvary and prompt us to help others rise up and serve you. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let's join together and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.